here we have come to Narok as being part of one of the trainings that we have done to sub-county police command. That includes officers uh, from the Kenya police, from the APS, SIPU commanders, at the same time from the DCI. And the major aim of this training is on elections related gender-based violence. As you realize during elections, especially 2007, uh, the curve went very high on uh, uh, elections related GBV. So I think we are in the year of election, and not really I think, we are in the year of elections. And it's, imp it's important that police officers are well prepared uh, to tackle this issue and make sure that there is peace and that such a crime does not happen during this time. We have taught them on how to embrace community policing even together with the Nyumbakumi initiative that is also a part of community policing, that they are able to give information of any suspicious activity or anything that is happening. So because if the prevention is there, we are going to have minimal or less cases of sexual and gender-based violence. So I just wanted to put in that element of community policing as a way and as a tool, as a practice that aids in having a good relationship with the police where the members of the public can be able to give information or give reports and where the police are supposed to be available, accessible and approachable so that they can also understand or hear the cries of the people. Uh, I want to say that uh, this has actually been an important session for us, all sub-county police commanders within our county and uh, it goes a long way to help us to be able to handle the assignment ahead of us. You are all aware that the election is just at the corner and during election a lot of violence is meted especially to the vulnerable. Vulnerable I mean the women, the children and even the disabled and the old. Uh, so we have actually been equipped during this training to be able to deal with it, to properly investigate such cases and uh, prosecute them. And I want to say that all of us on behalf of all the sub-county police commanders are grateful for this particular moment that the IG saw it worthy for us to undergo this training and the uh, sponsors also are willing to be able to facilitate it. We are actually grateful and I can promise you media people as you go out there make sure you highlight it to the public and inform those who may be aggrieved in one way or another during the election that they have friends to help that they have the service to be able to handle the challenges that they may encounter during the election.